uh, we have to we have to apologize to you um, the, before we <laughs> think, let you go. I think Beca- I know what this is. Okay, uh, the last time we talked to you, it was inspired. Right? Yes. Yeah. The, the last time we talked to you, uh, damn it, Maury went to interview you uh, when you were in Toronto. And we were like, what, can, what kind of fun can we have with Daniel Radcliffe? And at that time is when everybody was speculating on who was going to play Christian Grey in Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. And I, we sent Dammit Maury down. And we're like, why don't you just tell Daniel Radcliffe that fans are pissed that he didn't get cast as Christian Grey from Fifty Shades of Grey. And this was your reaction to this was your reaction to, to that. I think one of the biggest, like, I don't know what the world is more upset at right now, whether it's Ben Affleck being cast as Batman or you not getting the role of Christian Grey in the Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't movie. think anyone's upset about that, are they? Really? I don't know. I, the I, world's there is, upset, I, There is Radcliffe. very little outcry about me. I, I, if, if it has, that outcry has been so quiet as to be inaudible. <laughs> um, like, I, I have not heard any. You are literally the first person that has said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get, I've got, the one I've got more than that. Oh, recently it's Edward Snowden. Really? Yeah. A lot of people coming up, like random people saying, just like, you should play Edward Snowden. It's like everyone's fantasy casting me for a film that isn't being made yet. Um, so-, so what that led to though, but what that, for us that was just a little joke, but what that led yeah, to was headlines around the world, <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe reacts to not being cast as Christian Grey. Yeah, yeah really, it was amazing. Like, I, in a, as soon as I realized that it was a joke I, and, you, and that it was like intentional, I was like, oh, that's kind of brilliant. Cause you can literally, you can say anything about me. Like say- I, in an interview, the other day I said I just very personally somebody was like what superhero would you play and I was like oh I don't know they've all been done who am I thinking and I was just like racking my brain and then jokingly just said oh I'll play Robin I'm perfect for Robin right and then like Dan Rackley wants to play Robin <laughs> <laughs> everywhere it's, and it's just like I'm, I really can't say anything but the, you can't you really can't you cannot say it will make headlines around the world no matter what you say yeah, but did did you call your agent or did your agent call you <laughs> and be like uh, this is, isn't true or did you call your agent and say by the way did this come across Desk um, and I no, wasn't... it didn't. I, I just, um, I think I, you looked at I, Damn It Maury and went, Oh my god, that guy just got me. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I did I absolutely didn't think at the time because you know, it's one of the if somebody tells me something ridiculous about myself that's being said, I'll believe it. Sure. Like, because they're, they're so I don't think it was like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I didn't call my agent. I wasn't like getting on the phone and being like, Why am I being seen for this? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's laughing now. Have you, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Have you seen my ads? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this body? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so uh, I haven't done 50 Shades, but I still found a way to get naked in the F word. Yes, you did, yes. Uh, before, Which is a great movie. Before we wrap things up, by the way, Daniel Radcliffe is here. Uh, the new movie is called The F Word, comes out August 22nd. Uh, Great movie, by the way. I Thank really, so really enjoyed it. You're very, very funny, and I, uh, your the character that you play is someone that I think I would hang out with. Cool. Would you, Daniel Radcliffe, hang out with somebody like Wallace, the character that you that you play? In I mean, the movie? definitely. I mean, I think Wallace is is very is actually very kind of similar to me in some ways, particularly his sense of humor. Yeah. We were allowed to improvise a lot in the film. Like a lot of my own sense of humor was allowed to come out very much. Um, yeah. And yeah, I mean, I think I would I would like to hang out with him. I'd, I'd slap him, but yeah. then, like you know, sort of do what Adam Driver does, does, which is just say like, "Come on, man, pull it together," and yeah. like either ask her or figure it out, or you know, because the the dilemma in the movie is, you know, I'm in love with my best friend, and should I, you know, broach she got the a boyfriend. subject with her? She's got a boyfriend, yeah. and you know. Um, so it's it's a very sort of traditional romantic comedy setup in a way, but it is like I do feel we've executed it really really well. It's ve- it's very very funny, um, and also if you go and see it in Canada, which you guys will because it's most convenient for you, um, <laughs> you, you you will see the dirtiest version of the movie that is. Available. And it's Everyone also else, called the F word. It's, it's not called the F word in America. No, every, in fact, the rest of the world it's called what if. Really? Um, wow. It was called the F word originally. And um, the censorship board in America was like, you can't call it that unless you're going to give it a higher rating, um, oh, wow. which is kind of crazy. But um, when the F word that we're talking about is friends, yeah. it's like a double meaning or whatever. But, you know, it's fine. But so, yes, Canada can just feel very proud of yourselves. You were you were the only <laughs> country, uh, you know, cool enough with... Uh, as you know, there is nothing as Canadians love more than feeling very proud of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe, dude, thank you so much well, again for happy joining birthday, us. Bro. Thank you uh, really, happy yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah, Anytime you're in Toronto, you know you are more than welcome to join us on the Roz and Mocha show. Thank you, dude. Roz and Mocha Mornings on Kiss 92.5.